Hello, hello, hello. This is Dominic Felgren, your local lazy gamer. Coming at you a wee bit of unmetal. And guess what? I got controller support working. See that? See that? That's controller support. Now I have to learn how to play the controller after getting halfway through the game. Genius. Oh, that feels so nice. Triangle is... Okay, so triangle is dodge roll. Circle is punch. Don't know what X and square is yet. Oh. L2 is... Okay. Options, controls... Interact is X, that stays the same. Use item is square. That's nice. Use is R2. So the good, the, everything is where it should be. As I checked the hovercraft, I found out that. Gasoline, gasoline. Its gas tank was empty. Okay, I have a choice. Well, last time that was really fast and I can skip around really good. Well, this time I'm going to go with this one. I want to see what happens when I have the ability to go over land. <laughs> what? Kids are tears. That is much harder to use. Suckus. Boss defeated. The confrontation with that chopper exhausted every drop of gas I had left. Okay. With no gas, the engine stopped shortly thereafter. Despite the dangers, I used my own arms to paddle forward. <laughs> Piranhas and crocodiles constantly tried to <laughs> eat my hands. But I was lucky enough to make it to a small dock. Mm -hmm. You're certainly a lucky man, Mr. Fox. Oh my god. Oh don't tell me I have to sk I have to sk scoot on the water or something. Please, oh please don't kill me. Okay. Why would I want to kill you? Hold on. You're not one of those bastards. No, I'm not Mike. Of course not. I'm a very nice guy. Yeah. By the way, what are you doing? Those bastards won't stop 
building fences everywhere. They think the jungle is theirs, so I cut them to fuck with them. <laughs> Do you have, by any chance, a van to get out of here? I had one, but they took it away. The old man told me a few stories about that place. Okay. It was isolated, with no roads or towns nearby. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, he told me about what I might encounter up ahead. All right. Ugh. Uh. No. Excuse me. He's being really thorough about that fence cutting. Uh, nope. Aha! Here we go. The square uses the item. Okay. Not in the head. Oh, wait. Three questions. Is there anything over here? No. Well, off we go to, I assume this is base Om there, Omega. hidden in the middle of the jungle, stood a compound riddled with cameras. Hmm. The level of security was sky high, like the mansion of a cartel boss, and I could see why. Mm -hmm. Because the center of this fortress was the Omega building, yep. the heart of Operation Jericho. Yep. The old man told me that he saw some helicopters landing on top of the building. Mm -hmm. If I stole one of them, that would be my ticket out of there. Yes, it would. One oh. thing was for sure. If I was detected by a camera and the alarm triggered, they would put the Omega building in lockdown and I could kiss those helicopters goodbye. But none of that matters because even though I was already showing signs of exhaustion, mm -hmm. I slid in like a shadow and managed to go undetected. Mm-hmm. Okay, but the real question is, how much... The door was locked and chained. There was nobody outside, so finding the key for the lock wasn't an option. I could cut the chain with a bolt cutter, but... Boss? Where would I find one? The old man. I need to borrow the old man's cutter. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? You're contradicting yourself. Sergeant, execute this Not liar. For the love of crap. Yes, sir. Ah. Old man, do you mind? Oh, hello, friend. Give me that bolt cutter. But it's it's mine. Ah. Oh my God! Now it's mine. Jesse, you could have just told him you're going to fuck with their base. Wait, wait, wait! Are you saying that you stole from some defenseless old man? You're a special sort of monster. What me? No, 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 no! I paid him. When I said it was practically highway robbery, oh. I meant... <laughs> Hello, friend. Hello, Gramps. I want to buy that bolt cutter. Well, <laughs> it's mine. How much are you willing to pay? Here are some coins. Okay. Thank you, Gramps. <laughs> You're welcome, kid. <laughs> that went better. Okay, that went good. But might as well take a leak. Excuse me. Oh yeah, and I cleaned out my porta potties. Da, da, da.
Jesus Christ. Oh, that's doable. That's doable. That's a bit of a cunt. Hmm, that might get somewhere. We'll go this way first. So I think this is manageable. On the east side, the cameras were accompanied by guards. Oh, for frick. I needed to pass without being spotted by Mike or the camera. So, I had to get rid of Mike and leave no witnesses. But it was more complicated than that. If the camera saw Mike knocked out, lying on the ground, the alarm would be triggered. Yeah. Seems you just had to move him away from the view of the camera. Exactly. But, if Mike wasn't there as the camera viewed his post, the alarm would still be triggered. Whatever I did, the camera had to see Mike standing at his post. Hmm. Quite the scenario. Unless it's an episode of MacGyver, it would be impossible to proceed. Hold on. If you're telling me this, that means you made it through, correct? Well, yes, I managed to fool the camera eventually. How did you manage that? If the camera needed to see Mike, I could just make a copy of him. <laughs> a clone? Yes, the copy was so perfect, Mike's mother wouldn't know the difference. I made the swap when the camera wasn't looking. How do I create a clone? Oh, that's... Let's go this way first. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Um... Yes, I did, apparently. So I can't do anything about this because... Camera, mic... Yeah, they move an off beast because they move in an off beast I can scoop by him okay I can do this that was easy A uniform. Okay, we got a uniform. That means we need to make clones. How do we make a clone? We need to mix you with something else. Is it the reeds? No, that would have been too smart. Or not smart enough. Oh, we got the uniform. That's why it's important. Okay. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? I forgot. I could have just, um, not move. Okay, let's go take a leak so this all stays saved.
Okay. It works. Right. We now understand what we need to do. The guard clone is in place. But before I get past, I must figure out what's up here. You ready? More guard clones. I can't get past this. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Okay. I can at most make two guard clones. I can have two mic friends. I wonder how uh, the other mic is going to celebrate his daughter's birthday. Let's take our mic clone for a leak. And off we go. Okay, now we'll wait for you to turn around. Didn't you say that the alarm never <laughs> sounded? Okay, I need to be clever. Ah. Yeah, I deserve this. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Let's um let's pretend that one didn't happen. That never happened. works genius oh god grenade well frick well this will certainly make the next bit easier there my controls just went bockety okay no how how didn't you say that the alarm never sounded Stealthy snake. Well, sorry, fox. I'm a stealthy fox. Okay. 
Okay, now we go. God, this poor guy. He went to bathroom breaks he used to take. is like this, is it? There was a Didn't second you say camera? that the alarm never sounded? You're contradicting yourself. Sergeant, execute. can't hear it. Okay, I was just too slow, that's all. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? something up here there it is There was a base building image. Ooh. Oh, no, ball cutters. Okay, they're being dirty with me now. Okay. Do I? Oh, I did. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Please don't be too far back. I'm way too far back. Okay, I know now. I also know where that secret room is. Okay, we're good to go. We're doing good. Doing very good. That didn't get me what I wanted. Anything? Nothing. Oh, Satan's ass crap. There it was. 
the entrance to the Omega building. That would be the last place I'd visit on my tour de escape. Is that an empty trash can? Damn it. Didn't you say that the it alarm is... never sounded? I want us. The pizza box. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Almost there. I want that pizza box. Ah. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Your contradiction. Pizza here for Mike? That's me, but I didn't <laughs> order one. <laughs> Fuck. The pizzeria screwed up again. They must have repeated the last order. My god, they suck at managing orders. And this is so far away. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want it? It's just out of the oven. Hold on. Show me the pizza. Here it is. Yeah, I see it. What kind of pizza is it? Oh no. Please be margarita. It's a margarita pizza. Margarita? It has tomato, mozzarella, and oregano. Don't fuck with me. That's what all pizzas have. You brought me a pizza with nothing else on it? Do I look like a dumbass or what? <laughs> Besides, isn't this a repeated order? Why is this a different pizza? Dunno. Maybe it's for another mic? Hold on. You're not the same pizza guy. <laughs> Fuck, you're an imposter. I know. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Okay. Um. I need to get to that pizza box and I need to read the pizza box this time. Carefully studied that pizza box, examining every <laughs> detail, every clue, every molecule. I deduced that it was used by someone else to smuggle something into the Omega building. A pizza? Exactly. A pepperoni pizza, to be precise. Wow. To be fair, I'd smuggle a pizza into the workplace, too. Pizza. I have a pizza here for Mike. That's me, but I didn't order one. Mm -hmm. Fuck. The pizzeria screwed up again. They must have repeated the last order. My god, they suck at managing orders. And this is so far away. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want it? It's just out of the oven. 
Hold on. Show me the pizza. Here it is. Yeah, I see it. What kind of pizza is it? Pepperoni. It's a pepperoni pizza. Great. The kind I like. <laughs> Are you sure it's fresh? I don't see any steam coming out of the box. Uh, that's because they covered the box holes. So the pizza doesn't cool along the way. Do you take me for an idiot? Yes. That pizza is cold, asshole. Who are you calling asshole, asshole? <laughs> Come out here and say that to my face. Fuck, you're not the pizza guy. You're Fox. Shit. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? You're contradicting yourself. Sergeant, execute this liar. Okay. Yes, sir. I need to make the pizza warm. I need to heat up the invisible pizza. Okay. So, first things first. Equip the pizza. Check the pizza. I carefully studied that pizza box. Exactly. Now, we need to figure out what to do with the pizza. What do we do to make this pizza steam? gonna sound weird oh well didn't work but I got a safe fight well <laughs> so the pizza doesn't work unfortunately I should have ran there. I should have ran there. So I, I don't think the pizza is usable. Unless that fire hydrant can be used. Oh my freaking god. We got the steam and pizza, boys. Uh, I fricked up. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? One steaming, smoking, awesome pizza coming right up. I have a pizza here for Mike. That's me, but I didn't order one. Fuck. The pizzeria screwed up again. They must have repeated the last order. My God, they suck at managing orders. Yep. This is so far away. Are you sure you don't <laughs> want it? It's just out of the oven. Hold on. Show me the pizza. Here it is. Yeah, I see it. What kind of pizza is it? Pepperoni. It's a pepperoni pizza. Great. The kind I like. <laughs> <laughs> if 
found one secret. As I crossed the door, I entered into the Omega building, mm -hmm. the heart of Operation Jericho. It was a cold, dark industrial place yep. with containers and barrels everywhere. Makes sense. On my right, there was the control room where they monitored the outer cameras. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the asshole that controlled them. The guy I tricked with the pizza, who was coming <laughs> over to get it. Reality was going to hit him in the face. Gonna earn that. Give me the fucking pizza and get out. Of course. You are, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. What the <laughs> fuck? It doesn't weigh shit. Son of a bitch. You bake these thinner by the hour. It's empty. Where the hell is my pizza? Look at what's on the box. What? Where? <laughs> <laughs> I was inside the Omega building. <laughs> I just had to reach the rooftop and pray that I'd find a helicopter. You know, I'm gonna move that just in case there's some weird things going on ha happen. As I destroyed that computer, I saw something curious inside its metal guts. Okay. It was a thick cable and a sign that said ground floor alarm cable. Do not cut. <laughs> Done. With the cable cut, the alarm wouldn't be triggered on this floor. Even if I was detected, guards wouldn't be able to trigger the alarm. <laughs> oh, wait, uh... Okay, not so far. They put a lot of effort into the security of that oh, compound. Oh, what a love of crud. The guards weren't the typical ones I've encountered before. They were... Scandinavian! <laughs> Scandinavian guards. Not only were they tougher than normal guards, they were light sleepers, too. Oh, does that mean I can't use, um... Escaping prisoner. Send backup. Oh, wow. These Scandinavian guards are going to be something vicious. Let's see what happens if I... They put a lot of effort into the security of that compound. Yep. The guards weren't the typical ones I've encountered before. They were... Let's try exterminators. Exterminator guards. Exterminator. Oh my the gosh. The ultimate robot technology. Titanium endoskeleton covered with organic material to look like humans. Programmed to kill with oh no gosh. regrets or doubts. And I held no regrets or doubts about destroying them, since they weren't alive. Oh, that means I can use a gun. Maybe... grenade them? Oh wait, they're electronics. They put a lot of effort into the security of that... Ex-Terminator guards. The ultimate robot technology. Titanium endoskeleton covered with organic material to look like humans. Damn it. Okay, we know it works. We know um 
We know these stun grenades work on them. They put a lot of effort into the security. Exterminators. Exterminator go. So the exterminator guards, they're affected by the chaff grenades, which is epic. They put a lot of effort into the security. I'm going with Scandinavians again. Scandinavian though. guards. Oops. I fell asleep. Oops, I fell asleep. Wow, so they are late sleepers. you the fact that there's string means I'm gonna have to make more um, guard replacements Such a good feature. Get away from the look around. There. Okay, at least I have an idea what I'm doing now. I'm going with Scandinavians. They seem to be an interesting They put one. a lot of effort into the security. Scandinavians. Scandinavian guards. I like the little helmets they have. Oops, I fell asleep. Oops, I fell asleep. Oops, I fell asleep. This is good. This means the Scandinavians are hidden to the side now. Escaping 
should remember that. I can actually move the Scandinavians and they won't move back to their location. Excuse me. They put a lot of effort into the sc Scandinavian guards. Oops, I fell asleep. Perfect. Okay, we can carry more bullets, but more important than that... We can tie up Scandinavians. Okay. Scandinavians are tied up. Stay there. Good to go. That's tree down. Now let's open those crates and see if we can get more twine. Okay, we got their string. Okay, we are good to go and we will very slowly, very gradually recover our health. See that? Went up. We're collecting people like Pokemon cards. Oh, that ain't good. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, this ain't good. They put a lot of effort into the sc Scandinavian guards. <laughs> I 
fell asleep. Okay. Let's get that health back. Game is not making it easy on me. I can enter you. Woo! Free electrocution grenades. Ah! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Are you explosive? <gasps> Blood bag? Oh my god! Oh my god, that is going to be so fucking useful. Keep going. Okay, <laughs> we're not done yet. Stay there. In that pokey little room. I found a few crates. Okay. They contained. Oh, oh, thank you. The fact you gave me the choice. That's this is the ability to choose to give us the player the choice of something. It's so damn satisfying. Uh, wait, I thought I got rid of them. Oh no, I didn't this time round. Okay, we'll go and sort them out.
You know, it would have been better if they put a Scandinavian on the front desk as well. We wouldn't have rope by then. <laughs> but no. They can have their little slumber party in the corner. And after clearing out the right side, so that's good, we'll move on to the left side. And we found a secret. I'm still disappointed I haven't gotten a cardboard box yet. I love the cardboard box reference. The pisser. No coins? The recycling b uh, fucker. The recycling bin claimed all my coins. Oh no. Choice. Okay, so let's um, make this clean. Hey, escaping. Come back. Oops, I fell asleep. Oops, I fell asleep. You gotta be shitting me. Okay. Then we'll move you over there. Ah. Oh. And with that, we leave them to lay in the filthy floor of the bathroom. Because we know they don't clean that floor. Down. To the basement. <laughs> uh, thanks. Who are you? I'm the Lord of the Labyrinth. <laughs> if I hadn't had enough already, a mental patient escaped from a ward. I played along. I'm Fox, son of Zox. I hail you, O Lord of the Labyrinth. What's behind that door? A dark labyrinth filled with deadly traps. Why did they build a maze down here? They didn't. The labyrinth already existed. This building was built over an old prison, which was built over ancient catacombs. It is said that the souls of the prisoners still dwell there. Are you trying to scare me with that children's story? It is merely a warning. Such is the esteemed duty of the Lord of the Labyrinth. I was curious about what was inside the labyrinth. Oh my. But I had no business in these catacombs. I do. I was focused on my escape, so I didn't think about those ridiculous stories. Although later, I'd be back. Do you wish to enter the labyrinth? No, thank you. Mm. Hand 
Hands up. What happened with Dr. Hoffman is kind of long to explain. Do you want me to summarize it? Tell me everything. Don't even think about it. Any detail can be crucial, so don't skip anything. Now, I want you to draw that fissile core uranium-235 <laughs> isotope sample. <laughs> How in the world do you know that it's a fissile core uranium-235 isotope sample? What else would be in the hands of a scientist? His <laughs> expertise is in fissile core uranium-235 isotopes. How do you know I'm a scientist <laughs> whose expertise is in fissile core uranium-235 isotopes? I know everything about Operation Jericho. Now, drop that sample. Do you know what will happen if I drop this and the flask is broken? Of course I know. The radiation will flood the whole room. And <laughs> that would kill us all. I know. I'm not telling you to literally drop it. I mean, slowly set it on the table. It's okay. Don't get nervous. <laughs> now turn around. Slowly. I'm afraid I can't turn around slowly. Because we're working in a 2D environment. <laughs> I can only turn in multiples of 90 degrees. Then turn around 90 degrees twice. So you're the brains behind it all. You won't get away with this, you sick bastard. Operation Jericho will die with you. Everything okay, Dr. Hoffman? Oh God, he has a weapon. <laughs> Wait, you said Dr. Hoffman? Is your surname Hoffman? Yes. Fuck. Why? What's up? I had a neighbor called Hoffman. He was <laughs> tall, German, and hairy. He won the lottery, but died of gonorrhea the week after. Poor man. Yes. Life can be cruel sometimes. But enough stories. <laughs> What's the purity of the isotope you're using? 95%. Are you mad? That purity is highly unstable. You'd need to generate an absolute void field and contain that isotope in an electromagnetic field. That's what we do. We have containers of 500 megajoules. You're playing God. <laughs> Rabble like you invented the H-bomb. You disgust me. Hold on. Fuck. H as in Hoffman. You invented the H-bomb. What are you saying? The H comes from hydrogen. <laughs> Hydro what? Don't try to confuse me with your <laughs> scientific slang. Whether or not you're the mind behind this, you're the accomplice of a nuclear menace. Say goodbye, Dr. Hoffman. Wait, I did it against my will. They have my daughter. Oh, fuck. If I don't do what they say, they'll kill her. Your daughter? Where are they keeping her? They have her working as a doctor in the Alpha Building. Oh. The Alpha Building. The same one where I met the doctor. Suddenly, I pieced things together, and everything made sense. There were two doctors in that building, <laughs> although I never saw this man's daughter. <laughs> doctor, how old is she? Uh, somewhere in her 30s. In her 30s? What kind of answer is that? A good father would say she turned 32 last April 31st. Well, April only has 30 days. Don't change the subject. <laughs> what sort of father are you? It's okay. I confess I've never been a good father since uh, I spent all my time absorbing. At least he's science. honest and he knows what's up. Not mine. Not mine either. Excuse me one moment. Hello, honey. This is not a good time. It's never a good time for you, Dad. <laughs> I know, I know. But my current situation is particularly disastrous. Why? Because a man is pointing his gun at me. What? Who is he? I don't know. He doesn't seem like he's from here. I think I know who it is. Ask him if his name is Jesse Fox. Hold on. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> Are you Jesse Fox? Yes. Yes, it's him. Damn it all to hell. Do you know him? Honey, are you there? Hello? She hung up. <laughs> now it's mine. 
Jesse Fox here, over. Can you tell me what the hell you're doing? Doctor, hey, hello, how are you? <laughs> Not very happy, knowing that you're aiming a gun at my father. What? Your... your father? Yes! Doctor, this is not your father. What do you mean? Of course he is. <laughs> That's what they're trying to get us to believe. <laughs> in truth, he's the father of another doctor that works in your building. What? There are no other doctors. I'm the only one here. <laughs> they're trying to make us believe that too. <laughs> they're manipulating us. <laughs> is your father, by any chance, an expert in nuclear chemistry who works in the Omega building? Yes, he is. The evidence finally collapsed in on itself. Besides two doctors, there were two scientist oh fathers. God. The one in front of me who also had a doctor daughter and the doctor's father. Really? Then explain something to me. How is it possible that someone like you, dedicated to looking after others, has a father that is involved in the annihilation of millions of people? What are you saying? My father is a good man. He's a brilliant scientist, not a killer. Well, the man in front of me is working with uranium for nuclear weapons that will be used to annihilate entire cities. What? No, no, this can't be. You see, I told you he wasn't your father. <laughs> what should I do? Do I kill him? What? No! Tell him that... Doctor, I can't understand you if you cover your mouth. Doctor, she hung up. <laughs> Why did you tell her? Now my own daughter will hate me. Don't worry, she wasn't your daughter. She <laughs> was the other doctor. What are you talking about? They're the same person. That's what they're trying to make us believe. They're toying with us. <laughs> are you really doing this for your daughter? Yes. I want her to be safe. Millions of people could die. I prefer the deaths of millions of people over the death of my precious daughter. You're a monster. It's not called being a monster. It's called being a father. If you had a daughter, you would understand, Mr. Fox. Enough. Where is the rooftop? I get it. Uh, above? I do. Don't be an asshole. I know that. I mean... How do I reach? I know, know the needs of the many outweighs the needs of the few, but the needs of the few Another that you love outweighs the, weed, the needs of the many you don't. You don't look like an assassin. Really? What have you done? Fuck, it was an accident. Tis but a scratch. Come on, my friend. Stand up. Excuse me. I'm going to repeat <laughs> the question one last time. And this time, I won't miss. Excuse me. You didn't miss. You hit me. That's true. Then this time I won't heal anyone. <laughs> How do I reach the rooftop? The, there is a lift that reaches the rooftop. You just have to keep going up as much as you can. But you will need a level 4 access card to go out. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, give me a level 4 access card. We, we don't have one. We just have level 3 access cards. Mm. I swear. Fuck. I'll have to search for it. Now, continue working as if nothing happened. If you trigger the alarm or do something suspicious... You'll kill us. I promise the doctor not to kill anyone. Hoffman's daughter, or the other one? The other one. Then, you had no intention to shoot me, right? Exactly. You see? I told you that you didn't look like an assassin. Hmm. I'm glad you're not one of those bastards. You can't imagine how much I hate myself mm -hmm. for what they're forcing me to do. In the end, I talked to them about my escape. About Colonel Harris. Okay. And the promise I made to him to call the cavalry if I managed to escape. That gave Dr. Hoffman and his team some small hope of rescue. Of course. He promised to delay the preparation of the uranium that would be used in Operation Jericho for as long as he could. Uh -huh. After that, I asked Excuse him me. for some assistance in my escape. Mm -hmm. But he was terrified of being discovered. 
mm-hmm. which would compromise his daughter's safety. So he decided to stay neutral, Mm -hmm. but still volunteered some information. Mm -hmm. You're not going inside, are you? I'm just going to have a quick look. Are you crazy? (laughs) Without an anti-rad suit, you will die in just a few minutes. Okay. You need to find an anti rad suit. Oh, that's clever. Since we needed a, a healing, if. Excuse me. Since we needed a healing after, kill, after shooting the guy, we would have been able to pick up a med kit off that crate. Another thing mm-hmm. don't shoot in the lab. Most of these devices don't react well. Bullets. Okay, so no shooty shooty bang bang. <clears throat> Just sleepy sleepy uh fun time. Oh it's a robot. Trolls of mechanical spiders. <laughs> I can see in every direction. Can they be shut down somehow? Only with an electromagnetic grenade. Mm. But it would only last a few seconds. Enough time to let them taste my fists. Thanks for the warning. Please carry on with your genocide work. <laughs> Come on. Okay, that one clapped my cheeks. Okay, and now I'm concerned there's going to be a giant electronical robot boss fight. Oh, finally, the dash punch actually comes in clutch. Fuck me. Okay. Actually, let's go back and pick up that uh, grenade we left on the ground. Can't dwell on this for too long. Nom 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 nom. Nom. Has my shoes. But anti radiation thought. But let's be honest, it's a hazmat shoes. There we go, more grenades. We Mr. Fox. Oh? Mr. Fox. Hello. I'm coming. 
What's up? What's up, Hoffman? <laughs> My daughter. She is not replying. Isn't she a doctor? She must be operating on someone. Right when you come into my life? Too many coincidences. What if they killed her? Why would they do that? <clears throat> if they do, you no longer have a reason to continue your work here. You're right. But... Relax and wait a while. And remember to delay those nuclear warheads as much as you can. God knows what will happen if they get completed. Okay, that was a bad idea. I forgot that uh, when you're wearing suits, you can't attack. So, what if I take off the suits and then attack? This is going to be the weirdest fighting experience ever. Oh. Oh yes, you are coming here. Oh. I should just sit here and rest. Wait for my health to recover. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for my health to recover. That way I can take a bigger gamble. Yeah, see that? Perfect. Ah, oh, prick. Next time I'm using the porta potty. Yeah, come back. And then climb. Just one more. Okay. Now we'll just sit back and let myself heal for a bit.
Okay. We are out. And now we take a potty break. And then we... Where is my... Oh, excuse me. Do I need anything here? That would have been funny, actually. <laughs> actually, let's check out my options. Oh, there's only down. Okay, I'll wait for that to cycle around. Oh. Hey, Fox. Are you Hello. there? Here I am, Robert. Guess where I am. I don't think you're home. The radio signal wouldn't reach. True. I'm in the Omega building. Fuck, man. Why are they prepping the nukes? You decide to stop them? What a change of heart, man. No, it wasn't intentional. Then why the hell are you there? Trying to ride a helicopter out of here. <laughs> Guess that whole runaway by sea plan didn't work out, eh? Just forget about that. I'll see what I can find out about that building. Thank you, Robert. Ooh. I don't think we need the shaft grenades anymore. Okay, we'll wait for him to come back around and then we'll knock him out. Coin. We got their money back. We got our money back. We have gotten our access to the best damn item in the game. That does sweet fuck all for us. The coin. bullets okay in here ah an office an office an office is an office yes this was the access card i needed to reach the okay we got the key we got a map we got a map. This is big. I'm probably not going to use the map, but we got the map. Oh, wait, there's a level four bit, uh, thing over here. Hmm. 
Another fire. Jesse here. Over. Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. I was thinking about those big concrete blocks you saw. Oh? This place is full of concrete buildings. Maybe they're building something. Hmm. Something new. Something that requires a lot of concrete. And that's why there's so many guards. Why are they transporting concrete instead of making it here? Maybe someone sold them something in parts and they're just bringing them here. Hmm. Could be. But what? No, we already if know I the answer to that. Out, I'll let you know. Thanks, man. Over and out. I guess it's, this is just. Robert? I'm a bit still behind. There. Yep. Jesse here. Over. Okay, nothing. We tried. We tried. That's all that matters. We tried. Let's keep, let's keep it up. Just a wee bit more. Oh. Hey, a coin. <laughs> Ooh, a grenade. Oh my god, the dirty little pricks. They tried to use my tactic against me. Hey, a coin. Oh my god, it's working. I can't believe that worked against me. Now how did I de do I defeat the coins? The coin is an extremely powerful enemy. Yeah, I feel like there's supposed to be a, Ooh, a save point. Right, I'm going to beat those guards. I don't care what anyone says. That's an encounter that needs to be resolved. Uh... Nah, we've got everything out there. This is getting exciting. I kind of want to see uh, if we can find the colonel and we definitely need to get uh, Hoffman's daughter out there. Is that the photograph? That somehow worked out. I am the best. I found some photos on a desk. I had a look at them because, you know, I was born curious. <laughs> curious? Don't I you mean I was born nosy. screaming. <laughs> there were shots of some guys loading something big onto trucks. Something that looked like concrete blocks. Oh, that's the guy's photos. Fuck. These were the photos Robert was taking just before he was captured. Robert, do you copy? Yo! Guess what I found? The love of your life? Yeah. <laughs> your photos. Oh, really? They didn't destroy them? No. 
They must have Diogenes syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying my picks are trash? Man, these pictures leave a lot to be desired. Did you take them with one of those disposable cardboard cameras? <laughs> You're such an ass. <laughs> Only the smartest of them. Take them with you, my friend. I hope they help you for something. Will do. Over and out. I really like this. I really like this. Because I've had this feeling throughout the entire game that we were working towards something, building a case. And now that we have these files and the photographs, it all makes it obvious the, that our story towards, be, towards being interrogated is only part of the story. There's more after. And our story in the character girl is obviously after that. And maybe there's something after that. Maybe not. But I feel like we're going to get out here. And I feel like we're going to come back. Because I want, I want to come back. I want to get the colonel. We need to pull that fuck, fucker's ass out of the fire. So we're getting as much evidence as we can to achieve that. At least that's my goal. we go the fuck are we now I was on the third floor there were guards keeping watch on the whole level but these were not your run-of-the-mill guards <laughs> they were Japanese mercenaries <laughs> were they also tougher than normal guards no way on the contrary they were weaker one punch and down they went <laughs> But these Japanese mercs were damn perceptive due to special training they received. Their unique awareness was twice that of a normal Holy guard. Shit. An angle of 180 degrees. Getting close to them unnoticed was impossible if you weren't behind their back. Oh, that's going to be a rough one. Anyway, I'm going to go back down to um, the first floor. Because I think there was a fourth floor access. Yeah, a, a four, uh, a four card access. God, taking out the Scandinavians was hilariously good. There it is. Night goggles. Oh. Oh, that's going to be important. What about you? Oh, so we cut the red wire first, then the... No, red and silver, then black and green, then gold and blue. I think I understand what to do. But I have to see how that guard on the left works. Okay. That doesn't work.
Oh, that's a lot of Japanese. This looks like a dead end. This looks like a restroom. I have to risk it. It's a pisser, man. Wait, did I get the... No, I didn't get the night vision. But right, I pick up the night vision again, then we'll go back, save it, and then we'll get down to it. Violence against shells is the only natural answer. scans <sighs> and off we go I love the fact that the, hey, the coin works so coin. hard. Well, <laughs> oh wow, I get to take my coin back if they took it from me. <laughs> okay, now for the hard part. I need to find this damn well. Wow, that was way too many. Okay, I needed to spend way more time on that. Right, come down to me, and we will get this sorted, my friends. Turn around. Heard something. Hey, a coin. Come on. Hey, a coin. <laughs> okay. Money sorted. Maybe I should. Maybe I should go this way. See if that will uh, attract any attention. Probably won't. No. Okay.
Oh my god, they're coming from everywhere. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of Japanese. <laughs> I need to be beyond careful when doing this. How are you supposed to play this on hard? <laughs> Turn around. Okay. Say they're the easy ones. Hey, a coin. Yeah. Right, I think I can hit right again, but I think I understand what I need to do this time. Okay, watch. This guy goes up, I'll tap him. I'll go down and I'll throw a coin next time. Okay. I should have... I'm gonna get done. Hey, there he is. Returning to my position. Ah, and I was so close. The perspective is stealth thinking kind of disappears after a base. Maybe it might be because I'm um, in alert. I will get this. I'm too stubborn to drop this. Yeah, come on. God, I find this hilarious. Hey, a coin. Okay. Pass another coin. And we wait for him to come back. Hey, a coin. Then we jab him the back of the skull. <laughs> Bring him up here, and we are good to go. Okay, this time the second guard has to be away. Okay. Okay. I think I'll wait for him to swing around and go down. Be like that. And I'll do this. Heard something. Hey, a coin. And bam, back of the skull. Okay, more first aid. Bullets. Why do I need bullets? Don't tell me they're gonna ask me to start gunning down the Japanese. On a completely unrelated note, let us put some Japanese in the closet.
Oh, look at that. Completely unnecessary and useless. <laughs> I wonder if I could use that as a hiding so hidey hole. That doesn't matter. What does matter is I now need to... There we go. Uh, binoculars. Right. This is going to be a tough one because I need to study their movements. Oof. Their movements are disgusting. <laughs> Go on my own terms. <laughs> Take the bullet. Oh, wait. Oh, he's going down. Is that where the opportunity is when he goes down? I have to keep watching. There must be some sort of way he's going back and forth now. Okay. Finally free. Oh, thank heavens. Okay. Uh, now what? We have to come to an understanding. How do I deal with ye? Oh, that's not good. Bathroom break for you. Well, the fun thing here is that this is the Omega building, so the doctor doesn't have to worry about us. <laughs> Look at those floppy arms. there's anything to the left You can stay there. Okay, 
I'll wait for him to return up and then turn around back down. And I knock him in the back of the skull. Taking this, I'm done for. Yeah, that was too much, but it doesn't mean it's hopeless. Wait, why are you still? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I heard something. Good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is an awkward one. It's that second guy down at the bottom. Now we should be fine. By the time the guy is halfway up the stairs, this guy will be doing a 180 and I can drag his corpse back. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. Their rotations are weird. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. A little better. Keep going. That guy in the bottom. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is the rotation. Okay. And we'll drag him out of there. Dump him here. And spy on you for a little bit longer. These binoculars were worth us. Okay, he turns around. I come down. I'm taking this because... I'm taking this. So far, most of my opponents have been grenade base. Ah, not like a bathroom break after some wanton violence. Okay, that's obviously a checkpoint to the next part of the game. I might as well clean out shop. Let's see what this guy on the right's up to. Oh, he's doing fuck all. Let's try that again. <laughs> but this time without the stupidity. Excuse me. I heard something. kind of hoping they kind of scurry around the tanks after me but it didn't work out 
but I know what to do now. Also, no, no. Oh, why did I do that? Okay, I deserve this. Please kill me. No, I absolutely love this type of game. I was concerned about whether or not I'd enjoy it, but oh god, it's so good. <laughs> Why did I do that? I know the going on top. The only thing that's beating me in this game is my own incompetence. Not even funny. Well, it is kind of funny. Okay, now remember. Oh. Oh. Uh, while we're on it, coins. Then we go, eh? <gasps> he didn't get alerted. What if I... Threw a coin? Would you notice? You didn't notice the coin. Yeah, I deserve this. But I know what to do now. Okay, I'm going to do an experiment because they seems they don't notice the coin unless they're right on it. But I think they might notice it if I'm mo if the coin is moving in the peripheral. We'll find out in a bit. Okay, that's everyone down. Put everyone down. I'll now go save one more time and then we'll go through that big door. That big door is likely a boss. Whew. What the hell? Good morning. Japanese samurai warrior. Nice. Arian of Genetics. Cool. If you're the boss of those assholes, know that they couldn't take two punches. <laughs> you insult Japanese cuisine. <laughs> you die, boy, my katana. Really? <laughs> I'm going to show you what I think about your damn karate. <laughs> oh my god, he even has a fan. Okay. It said gone, so I'm doing gone. Oh, shit. Oh, so or one does that. Okay, so he only responds to the... Yeah, okay, that, that's interesting. Chip. Oh, oh! Okay. Nope. I know what to do. First off, we equip this. Second off, we equip this. Wait, 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 wait.
we'll go back in and save again. Because I want to save without doing as with doing as little as possible. As little as possible. I am Takuma Takagashi. It was nice to meet you, Takuma. I think I get it now. Don't be too greedy. I am Takuma. Got too greedy right off the bat. He's got a lot of interesting gimmicks. Like this diagonal movement is actually really interesting. Should have kept ro rolling. Okay, I have a fair idea what to do. I am Takuma Takagashi. Oh, okay. Hey. I only had one health and I didn't even notice it. Okay. You. you show great courage in combat. Damn right. To fight you has been great honor. Sayonara. Did he just Vista, ninja baby. smoke his way out of there? Boss defeated. Well, let's go and save the game. He's a nice guy. I don't know what his name was. Takamura? Takamashi? Takakashi? Takashi Castle.
I can't get to us. Wait. Can I? It wasn't wise to <laughs> use weapons there. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you made your point. Hey, Mike! Hi, Mike. <clears throat> you scared me. Mike? Yeah, it's me. I heard about how you kicked Marcus's <laughs> ass. Son of a bitch. He deserved it. What are you doing here, Mike? Well, after I finished repairing those lasers, they decided I had to come here and fix more stuff. Wasn't it your night off? Damn. Yep. Just another night working for a bunch of damn extortionists. <laughs> what brings you here, Mike? Need some help? Damn right. Yeah, I'm going to the rooftop. Almost there. Just take an elevator up a floor. I know, I was just exploring a little. Anyway, if you need any help, come see me. I'll be around. Thanks, Mike. See you later. Yep, toodaloo. I like Mike. Oh no. I need a new key card. All that just to beat a boss. That I didn't even have to fight yet. <laughs> Takashi was a good fight though. It was actually surprisingly straightforward. But then again, well, well it was straightforward, but I had some nice little mechanics behind it, which I appreciate. I'm going to save it actually. The Scandinavians, the Japanese, and Russians? I don't know, maybe? All came together for this weird boss encounter. I finally went out to the rooftop. Okay. As I stepped out, I observed details that would be missed by mere amateurs. But to a trained eye like mine, Nothing ever goes unnoticed. Well. First off, there was a communication antenna to my right. That's nice. Right? You mean on the left? I was looking south, so your left is my right. Of course. Continue. Another okay. key detail. There were four guards. And oh. they were smoking. Fuck. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. <laughs> hands up. You have no fucking idea who I am, do you? Who the hell are you, scumbag? I'm the man who's going to shove my boot in your asses so deep that you'll all be shitting leather for a month. I'm the fucking work inspector. <laughs> Military internal affairs. What? So, how the fuck is it possible? That a goddamn gentleman like me, <laughs> dressed as a mere civilian, freely strolled around the whole fucking building. I'll tell you how. Because some inept guards decided that instead of being at their posts, they slithered up to the rooftop to hide smoke and spew scum. <laughs> it's our five minutes off, sir. Are you kidding me, soldier? <laughs> no, sir. What's your name, scumbag? Mike, sir. Listen to me carefully, scumbag Mike. I've been sent by the general himself. He is pissed off with all the soldiers in this building, and I have his permission to ensure each one of you are pissed on. <laughs> I just have to make a little fucking check mark, and your precious fucking leave is a never ending hell of cleaning latrines and wiping piss. <laughs> so don't piss me off. Do I make myself clear, scumbag Mike? Crystal clear, sir. <laughs> Chatting here, blah, blah, blah. Gossiping like schoolgirls. You disgust me. Fuck. 
Imagine if I was a spy or a prisoner <laughs> who managed to obtain critical information, and I was pretending to be a work inspector in order to steal a helicopter and escape. What do you think would happen, scumbag Mike? Sir, it would be a non-authorized takeoff, and it would be shot down by the surface-to-air missiles. And you think he couldn't avoid it? Only if he disabled the communication with the missiles, sir. I see. And how would he do that? Sir, disabling the communication antenna that communicates with all surface-to-air missile batteries. And then he just gets away. What kind of shitty security is that? That's it. This is all going into my report. Heads are going to roll. Please, sir, don't rescind our leave. <laughs> we have children waiting for us. <laughs> oh, poor oh, fuckers. You have children, and you're <laughs> smoking? You call yourself a father scumbag, Mike? I have good reason to keep you from your kids. No, please. I'll give up smoking. I swear to God. Swear to me. I swear. I swear. <laughs> I'm magnanimous. I will turn a blind eye to this indecency. <laughs> but the day you hold another cigarette will be your last. Thank you, sir. Take a look at this floor. It's littered of cigarette butts, you pigs. Have you been tossing these without putting them out? You'll burn the building down. Not to mention the pollution. And what happens if a passing child gets burnt from these? Fucking swine. <laughs> Lean down, little piggies, and collect all these cigarette butts with your mouths now. Yes, sir. You too, asshole. Yes, sir. Now, get out of here and go back to your posts. Yes, sir. <laughs> God, sometimes I love the bullshit this game pulls off sometimes. Oh, wires. Okay, so my guess is here it was. Yeah. The antenna. I searched for wires to cut. Good news. I found some wires. Bad news. I found something else behind them. That's not good. What, Mr. Fox? A bomb. <laughs> a bomb? In a communication antenna? Exactly. I thought <laughs> someone before me placed it there to sabotage the tower. And that person was captured or killed before he could set off the bomb. However, a label adjacent to the bomb solved the enigma. It read, Communication Antenna Sparky SGL-65B Anti-Vandalism <laughs> System. Anti-personnel bomb explode if person attempt cut antenna signal. Explosion will not affect structure, but shrapnel eject outside literally destroy any person nearby. Hmm. Interesting. That is interesting. Sergeant, do we have anything similar on base? No, Lieutenant, but we can request for one. Well, continue with your farce, <laughs> Mr. Fox. <laughs> the label continued. For emergency purpose, disconnect antenna. Prevent explosion by follow KGS-185-U protocol. And what the hell is that protocol? The KGS-185-U protocol. I didn't figure it out at first, but it turns out that I had read that name before. Of course. Okay, so I need to snip... Silver and red. Wait, which instructions diagram do I snip them in order? Or direction of? I'm gonna follow silver and red. I use the bolt cutter to cut the. Ow. So silver was a bad idea, red was a bad idea. Um One, two, three, four, five, six. K. 
Okay. Okay. So I can't cut the red wire. I use the bolt cutter to cut the... I use the bolt cutter to cut the... This here I need to cut the red wire. I use the bolt cutter to cut the <laughs> Metal Clamps. That's why I need it. So it's not that I need to cut them first, I need to clamp them first. So silver wire. Wait, where's those wires I picked up earlier? Okay, okay, okay. Use the wire with clamps to connect the... The red wire with the silver wire. With the... Okay. And then I cut the red wire. No, no, no. I'll keep doing... But I'll find more um, stuff to perform bypasses. Wow. That makes things so much easier. It also technically allows me to skip a boss fight now that I think about it. No, still more wires. I need more wires. Okay, got another one. I just need one more. Got to keep focusing. Please be it. Damn it. I got it. I got everything I need. Speaking of, let's craft them. Okay, according to the protocol, I need to clamp black with green, yellow with blue. Black with green, yellow with blue. I use the wire with clamps to connect the... 
black with the green okay I use the wire with clamps to connect the yellow and with the blue okay we'll double check make sure we got everything right yeah black with green yellow with blue then we need to cut the blue wire blue wire red wire I use the bolt cutter and I think the to black cut wire. the blue wire I use the bolt cutter to cut the red wire and double checking yep black wire I use the bolt cutter to cut the okay done the antenna was out of action okay the surface to air defenses would never activate if I hit the skies now I can finally get that damn helicopter and escape Okay. Oh my. I need a new, um, wait. There it was, the helicopter I eventually escaped in. Only to have you inevitably shoot it down. <laughs> but fuck, I didn't have the damn key. I needed it to get the door open. Where do I get the helicopter key? Is there a helicopter? I think I have to backtrack. Wait, while we talk to Mike, Mike has always been reliable. Hey, Fox, are you there? Yeah. Here I am, Robert. You find a chopper yet? Found a helicopter, mm -hmm. but I don't have the key. Can't you hotwire it? I can't even open the outer door. Work your magic with the radio. Maybe you can hear something useful. No problem. Let's see if a guard can be tricked into telling where a spare key is. Thanks, friend. Perfect. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm gonna have to go into the labyrinth, aren't I? Hey, Mike. How did they bring you here? Hmm? In a helicopter. Like everyone else. <laughs> everyone but me. Mike, I'm looking for the key to that helicopter. Well... General X probably has it in his office. Is it far? You're right in front of it. That door? Yes. Fuck. Finally some luck. <laughs> but. But. What? Only General X can open it. Shit. Can't you use your magic? Nope. There has to be a way to get in there. A uh, back door or something. Come on, Mike. Think. Hmm. Wait. Mm -hmm. This office might have another entrance. Okay. A while ago, I was studying the map of this building, and I saw something weird. Weird? What was weird? The office has a private elevator that leads to the basement. I always oh, no. wondered why he wanted an unlocked private elevator. So you could take the main elevator to the basement and go through there to General Lex's private elevator? Yep. Thanks, Mike. I'm going to the basement. Mike, wait! Mm -hmm. The basement is a fucking maze. Take this map with you. You'll need it to get through safely. Thank you, Mike. God, Mike, such a good guy. Hey, Fox, weren't you searching for a helicopter key? Yeah. Fuck yeah. You have it yet? No. Not yet, but I believe General X has one in his office. Why? Because I heard some talk on the radio. Mm -hmm. They're keeping a copy of that key in a special room. 
It's somewhere close to General X's office, through a private lift. Don't know what room it is or where, but I know the door is marked with an X. A door marked with an X? Yeah, man. Fucking weird. Thanks, Robert. If I don't find the key in his office, I'll look for that room. Okay. So I need to find a door with an X, but only after... But only after the fact. Any tongue, tongue, tongue? No, no tongue, tongue, tongue. No tongue, tongue, tongue. Hmm. We will take a leak just on the off. Oh, it's saved. We'll take uh, we'll go now. I wish to enter the labyrinth. Yep. Then say friend in Elvish and the door will open. Friend in Elvish? Shit. Turns out the mental patient was a fucking Lord of the Rings geek. <laughs> what person in their right mind knows how to say friend in Elvish? Well, I don't know the word. Can you give me a hint? I'm afraid I can't grant any assistance to this enigma. What if I grant you a punch in the face? Uh, uh fruit. Big, sweet. You eat it in the summer? Watermelon? It lacks water. Melon? Wow. Oh no. Okay, so we have night vision. Now the map. E E W W N N N E S E S S N N N N E N W W N E N N. Fuck me. I reached the first intersection. It had three exits, north, east, and west. I checked the map. East, north, south, east, that's right. The first letter was E, so I took the path to the east. <laughs> I found an old rusted sword. A thousand years ago, it could have been of use, but this was current year, so I tossed it. Don't! Oh no! Oh, I wanted to keep that sword! <laughs> What happens if I go in the wrong direction? You can shoot spirits in the labyrinth. Oh, you just died. I reached the first intersection. Let's equip everything. Uh, get the gun ready. Goodbye, old man. You tried your best, but... Uh, apparently, Jesse Fox doesn't think swords are good. Even rusty old sword that deserves love and attention. It's another east. Ooh, three bullets. I reached the second intersection. It also had three exits, north, east, and west. Mm -hmm. I checked the map a second time. Yep, east. The second letter was also an E, so I took the east path. I would make an effort to check the map at every intersection as I proceeded. 
What it doesn't tell you is that the cell takes us. Oh. Maybe it was the Eastern Texas. Do not disturb. Can I hit him with a grenade? Ah, well. I tried. Where am I? Okay, that was east, east, north, south, east, west. <laughs> okay, that was definitely something I have to resolve. Wow, these traps are particular, aren't they? Uh, we keep going west. are broken that happens How do I deal with the ghosts other than shooting them? <clears throat> what if? Nope, that didn't work. Let's grab this again. Gotta keep grabbing it. Nope, I forgot that. A reload while moving would be nice. This is my... I think I have to go west again. Ah! No, no. I have to go north. Why do I keep doing that? My incompetence is unparalleled. There's only triple tap I need. Excuse me. took two shots again I'm being attracted to the door that I can punch because I can punch the door I want to punch us
So it's only two bullets. Okay, this time remember, north. Okay, uh, another three norths. Yep, so two norths. You know what? I'm going to do the sensible thing. Okay. Okay, it's definitely another north. At this point I'm experimenting because I want to see how much loose I can pull out. So, we can get you as well. I think that was my last north. But that ain't good. Okay, let's take a piss. Oh, wrong map. North, south, east. I need to go right. So let's go left and side. Let's go north instead. That's not price. Apparently I have to take another north. Then I'll take the east. I will find all the loose. Uh, why did that work? North, 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 east, then south. Wait, technically that's an east and that's a south. I'm so busy. Oh my god, it is a south. Out. I 
After south, we go east, then south again. I don't want to go north. We're about halfway there. Let's have another piss and then we'll see what happens. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll keep going this way because the game demands this. South East, South South. I need to go South twice. You know what? I'll just keep skipping over. So it wasn't. Southeast, South, where did the north come from? Where am I? Yeah, south, east, south, south. Okay, that is weird. No, I want to know what happens if I go this way. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand this is fucked. It seems I have to take looping packs. Oh, good. Seems I have to loop us. And then swing up north again. Then South East South East South South And we head up north once more I'm gonna have to rest here because Okay, this direction I have to go. So what happens if I go up this way? There's a collapse. Yeah. I'm finally going east, but I'm now confused. This will determine everything that happens in the next few seconds. So I just took an east. I took an east after a north. So it's either going to be a south or a north. It's a north. Right, we're taking the north now. I'm 
That's a lot of ghosts. Okay, that's an ort. Oh, this game is dirty. So I took too many Norths. Where am I? There's East North, but I think I'm West now. I took a West. Do I take a second West or do I go North? I'm saving it here because I made a lot of progress. Yeah, that was a good choice. Okay, I'm now after taking a north. West, west, north. I need to go east, then north, north again. Oh, dirty. Wait, this ain't good. I thought I was supposed to take another north. Oh, there's the gate. Okay, I now know where I'm going. We're almost out of this hellhole. Almost out. No? If that's not the case, then this is... Then I have to go this way? Let's go again? This is heartbreaking. Keep going. Okay, uh, I'm after taking the wrong turn somewhere. Because it seems I can't go. It seems I can't go anywhere. Can't go that way, can't go that way. That way's it. There was something odd about that wall. Oh no. I found a suspicious brick that smelled like turkey. I pushed it and. North. 
Nords. Oh, that was dirty. I got three secrets. I got all the secrets in that mission. I entered the secret door and left those dungeons behind. Ahead of me was a less dank portion of the basement. Okay. According to Mike, there had to be an elevator somewhere that went to General X's office, which should ultimately hold the original helicopter key. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, Robert told me that he heard of a special room with an X on its door, which could alternatively hold a copy of that key. Either option was fine as long as I could get a hold of a damn working key. And thus, my search of the basement began. No. Are you? C1? <laughs> Play like block of something. A fucking bomb, you prick. Yes, I hope it's a bomb. Wait, can I knock you off the wall? No. with an X, just like Robert told me. There it was, the secret room where they kept the helicopter key. Why would they keep a key in such a creepy place instead of an office? Hmm. The more I thought about it, the more things felt out of place. I had a strange feeling, like a gut feeling that something was just wrong. Yeah. I'm gonna go in just to see what happens. Mr. Oh. Fox. You have finally arrived. General X? The same. Are you searching for a key, Mr. Fox? Perhaps one for a helicopter? Hmm? You won't find it here, Mr. Fox. I'm afraid that your contact has betrayed you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Don't blame him. He's been the victim of my counterintelligence. Right there, in front of me, was General X, the puppet master of Operation Jericho. Not only was he a merciless, psychopathic asshole, he was so smart that he could predict my every move. For starters, he tricked me and Robert into searching for this room. You had us waiting longer than expected, oh, Mr. Fox. Finally get to see General X. If drew some arrows in the labyrinth, I would have come sooner. That would remove a certain charm, don't you think? Bro. By the way, I brought some company. Colonel! Doctor! I see you're already acquainted. I'll get to the point, Mr. Fox. Surrender. Otherwise, we'll start executing our guests. There were too many people. If I opened fire, Harris and the Doctor could die. Let me guess. You're considering the option of shooting. But you know that Harris and the doctor could die. Oh, he's in my head. Yeah. <laughs> he read my mind. But that asshole X was a clean shot. If I shot quickly, I could kill him. Now you're probably thinking I'm stupid for being so exposed. Yeah. And that you can kill me with a quick enough shot. Yes. If you shoot and kill me, that would be the end of the final boss. Of all of this, you'd be a hero. Do you really have such a low opinion of my intellect, Mr. Fox? Shit. This was part of his plan. He was here on purpose. I was him. thinking that he might have worn a bulletproof vest. By now, you should be thinking that I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. <laughs> Shooting an armored man would be foolish, don't you think? I want to shoot him. Fuck. He read my mind once again. But even if his body was covered, his head was not. One bullet between his eyes and goodbye. But you're not a quitter, Mr. Fox. It's only logical that you'd consider shooting me in the head. But I love her. I will admit, a challenging yet possible shot. An Olympian trial of marksmanship. 
reflexes and luck. Hmm. Let me spare you the trouble. Okay. Sergeant. Yes, sir. Shoot me in the head at point blank range. But, sir. That's an order. Uh, yes, sir. The bullet went through his head, but the bastard was unfazed. <laughs> Return to your post, Sergeant. Yes, sir. <laughs> what you're staring at in awe, Mr. Fox, is a projected image of myself. A hologram? Jesus. Precisely, Mr. Fox. And now that it's obvious that you can't kill me, let's conclude the matter of your surrender. Or are there not enough dead bodies to convince you? Just give me ten seconds to think about it. Of course. Oh. What are these choices? It's okay. I surrender. Right, I'll go back to that later. C1. More C1. What the fuck is C1? I had to try. Oh, God. The C1 needs to do something. I can't use it. Can I mix it with something that I have? No. Wait, wait, wait. I have a fire extinguisher. No. Well, I found the room marked with an X. I'll come back to it later. private elevator I have to take the room with the X I have to they won't let me take make any other choice Mr. Fox Colonel Kill Harris. Miss Wait, kill the doctor. Kill the doctor. Okay, there is no There is no decision that ends without it Has to be something Wait Oh my freaking god
Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. The game literally wants me to play the alphabet. Not the alphabet, the fucking numbers. They want me to add the numbers together. Stick enough C4, uh, C whatever together and you get C4. Is this how I get out of it? Mr. Fox. Yeah. It's okay. I surrender. Okay, I think I'm getting it now. Let's collect these boxes once more. I think I have to apply the C4 to something. And I think it's that big canister over there. Just in case. We'll then take this over to the big ass canister. To use the explosive, I needed something to act as a timer. The what from earlier in the game? I was sitting on that for so freaking long. Mr. Fox. Hello. You have finally arrived. That I have. General X. I came. The same. Are you searching for a key, Mr. Fox? Perhaps one for a helicopter? Yes, in fact I am. You won't find it here, Mr. Fox. Oh. I'm afraid that your contact has betrayed you. Oh. Robert. But don't blame him. He's been the victim of my... Oh, Robert is still in right the Right there, in front of me, was General X, the puppet master of Operation Jericho. Not only was he a merciless, psychopathic asshole, he was so smart that he could predict my every move. Damn right. For starters, he tricked me and Robert into searching for this room. Yep. You had us waiting longer than expected, Mr. Fox. Tried my best. Drew some arrows in the labyrinth. I would have come sooner. That would remove a certain charm. I don't fully you agree. By if you're way, gonna have a mad labyrinth maze, company. you don't make it too obvious. Colonel, especially if you're aiming to kill people. I see you're already acquainted. I'll get to the point, Mr. Fox. Surrender, otherwise we'll start executing our guests. There were too many people. If I opened fire, Harris and the Doctor could die. Let me guess. You're considering the option of shooting. But you know that Harris and the doctor could die. Fuck, yeah. He read my mind, but that asshole X was a clean shot. Mm -hmm. If I shot quickly, I could kill him. Yep. Now you're probably thinking I'm stupid for being so exposed. Yes. And that you can kill me with a quick enough shot. Yeah. If you shoot and kill me, that would be the end of the final boss. Of all of this, you'd be a hero. Yeah. Do you really have such a low opinion of my intellect? Yes. Fox? Shit. This was part of his plan. He was here on purpose. Yeah. I was thinking that he might have worn a bulletproof vest. He might have, By Fox. Now, you should you never know, Jesse. That Jesse, I'm wearing he a could. Bulletproof vest. Shooting an armored man would be foolish, don't you think? Fuck. He read my mind once again. But even if his body was covered... His head was not. Right. One bullet between his eyes and goodbye. But you're not a quitter, Mr. Fox. It's only logical that you'd consider shooting me in the head. Mm -hmm. I will admit, a challenging yet possible shot. An Olympian trial of marksmanship. 
reflexes and luck. Let me spare you the trouble. Sergeant! Yes, sir! Shoot me in the head at point-blank range. Uh, but, hmm. Sir! That's an order. <sighs> yes, sir! The bullet went through his head, but the bastard was unfazed. Return to your post, Sergeant. Yes, sir! <laughs> what you're staring at in awe, Mr. Fox, is a projected image of myself. A hologram? Precisely, Mr. Fox. And now that it's obvious that you can't kill me, let's conclude the matter of your surrender. Or are there not enough dead bodies to convince you? Just give me ten seconds to think about it. Of course. Have you already made up your mind, Mr. Fox? Yes, I've decided that. Watch out! Behind you! <laughs> <laughs> Did you seriously think that I'd fall for such an old trick? Yeah. For the record, I warned you. Doctor! I'm fine. What happened? An explosion. Mm. The guard behind you received the brunt of it. Hmm. Colonel! Shit, Colonel, you better be okay. He's alive. Looks like he just blacked out. Good. We have to leave before reinforcements arrive. I'm taking Harris with me. It's best not to move him. We don't know if he has any fractures or internal wounds. Mm. I'll take the risk. He can't stay here. Doctor, let's go! I'm not coming, Fox. Oh? Why not? There are injured that require my attention, and uh, I don't want to leave my father alone. What? He is too much they were to going behind. to kill you. No, they weren't. It was just a trick to catch you. And if I leave, my father won't work and they'll kill him. Run! Go away! I'll come back for you with the cavalry. You have my word. I left that room carrying the colonel. Wait, you're saying that you managed to rescue Colonel Harris? That's correct. Well, Mr. Fox, let's see what you invent to remove him from this story. Lieutenant, we found a corpse in the remains of the helicopter. What? Who is he? We don't know, Lieutenant. It was totally carbonized by the fire. Take him to the lab. I want a forensic analysis done yesterday. Do you understand me, Wachowski? Yes, sir. Fuck. We killed Colonel Harris. May God forgive us. No, he's not Harris. The colonel died a month ago in an ambush. These are his personal belongings, his dog tag, his watch. Don't you remember, Sergeant? We found them on his corpse. That man has never seen the colonel. He's just trying to confuse us with his lies. Fuck's sake, he has absolutely no evidence for what he's saying. I have this. But, what? If I'm not mistaken, it's a graduation ring for the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. Colonel Harris graduated in a 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. Uh. Sergeant, you don't believe him, do you? With all due respect, sir, I only said that Colonel Harris graduated in the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. He's trying to fool us, Sergeant. I remind you that there are more rings like this one. Yes, but not with the same smell. It reeks of shit. Sir, permission to smell the ring? Fuck. It smells just like <laughs> Colonel Harris's anus. What? How the hell do you know what the Colonel's <laughs> anus smells like? I'm not authorized to reveal that information, sir. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. This is getting out of hand. Mr. Fox, continue your story. Let's see if we can finish this once and for all. Okay.
This ain't good. What the hell is going on? Oh, so why is it not letting me use my binoculars? Alexis private elevator was um pretty clean actually I went up in the private elevator of Lieutenant they found a bullet in the carbonized corpse head a bullet so it wasn't us after all Colonel Harris was murdered hey friend don't look at me I haven't killed anyone I'm not your friend for fuck's sake, shut up. Wachowski, send the bullet to Science Officer Hollister for analysis. And tell him to collate it with the gun Mr. Fox had on him. Maybe we'll have a surprise. I want the results of that five minutes ago. Understood? Yes, sir. Well, I am taking a bathroom break. But I'm here. Ooh. Anything? Wow! That asshole General X had some cool music equipment. Really? Multi band equalizer? Auto amplified subwoofer and no way. Double deck cassette player. Holy fuck, fuck, you could record directly from one cassette to another. Hmm? This is on Epic Prime, well, digital uh, mini art book of on metal. On Metal, it's actually a port of the MX game one game I created called Prisoners of War. Hmm. This is an earlier version of On Metal's graphics. At first, the actions took place during the day. After some thought, I asked Marcel to try a night version. I liked it. Much more, and that's why On Metal takes place overnight. Ha! Huh. <laughs> of course it'll be scrapped that's all a nuisance <laughs> i mean it looks great but it's just a nuisance So he was originally an ATV driver. Wow. 
3000 animations. Of course I find the freaking subs uh, familiar. That thing almost took me out. <laughs> this mock-up was first attempt for an unmetal covered image. Mm, it's okay. This is another attempt. Heck yeah, he, they did prefer it, didn't they? Hmm. Last but not least, the cover created by Carl Sch Sanchez from Metal we used for the box art, the Visa version. After the Visa release, we re improved some parts. For example, we added vapors, water movement, garbage, and other details. Okay. Animated trees in the jungles, updated the bullet visuals from white dots, and finally we improved the water from the river. Nice. And that's all. Hope you find it interesting. Thanks for playing the game and good luck with the final boss. That's kind of a, a nice place to put us. Let's keep it going. Fuck! Oh wow! I found out that bastard kept a fully stocked armory behind his office. Okay. Let's go save again. So I can't just leave. See if we can go up one more floor. We can. I finally reached the last floor. Lieutenant, we already have the ballistics results. And? You are right, sir. Ballistics established that the bullet was fired from Mr. Fox's gun. You killed Colonel Harris, you bastard. Sergeant, behave. Sir, permission to execute that assassin. Permission denied. First off, we can't confirm the identity of the victim until we have the forensics report. Second, according to policy, Mr. Fox has the right to finish his story. Hmm. Mr. Fox, continue. And you better not contradict the evidence we're collecting. Mr. Fox, leaving so soon and without a farewell. That's not very neighborly of you. General X stood in my way, assuming it was really him and not another hologram. Are you asking yourself if I'm another hologram? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> no, 
Not this time. It Good. is I in the flesh. Good. Then I'll... Put a bullet in my head. You read my mind. Please tell me, Mr. Fox. How does one shoot that which they cannot see? Oh. What? Oh, what fuck, fuck you. Do you like my new device, Mr. Fox? Optical electronic hollow camouflage. The latest in nanotechnology. Obviously, if you start firing randomly, there's still a chance I may be hit. I believe dumb luck is a concept you're fond of? Hmm? So if you don't mind, I invite you to expend some ammunition with some friends. Stealing my loot. Do you have many bullets left, Fox? <laughs> I imagine not. I suspect you've stashed some grenades, though. Let's find out. I shouldn't have stopped there. Mr. Fox. Bullets left, Fox. I imagine not. Damn it, I shouldn't have moved. Mr. Fox. Leaving. Okay, once more. I think he's feeling random.
Damn it. Mr. Fox, leaving so. Taking random stuff on top of but of random Do you have many bullets left, Fox? That robot is a nuisance. Wait. Mr. Fox, leaving so soon? That was surprisingly good. Well, you should be low on ammo by now, which means it's time to comfortably finish you. By the way, I'm sure you may have noticed by now, mm -hmm. while you were distracted with my friends, I took the liberty to follow you around and recover some of my stolen property. <laughs> Scheiße. This is not an easy fight. Always seems to take the god mode artifact, though. Fox, leaving so soon? Oh, God of War without the te uh, using. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Well, you should be low. to injure me, Mr. Fox. Yep. Sincerely, this was beyond my expectations. Luckily, you brought my first aid kits. Hope you don't mind that you're missing one. So, you've been stealing my stuff. Your stuff? Everything you've acquired is from my base, Mr. Fox. And as the proverb states, one who steals from a thief will receive a hundred years of pardon. Nah. That bastard had been stealing from me while I was busy destroying his machines. And I'm sure he was going to steal more stuff as he needed it. So, is there a way of fucking him over? Yeah, so basically, he's going to keep using my recovery kits. Then he'll steal another one. Stole the last case. So I have three grenades. The sort of. You've run out of first aid kits, Mr. Fox. Unfortunately, you'll be unable to heal yourself anymore. Fortunately, it also means that you've run out of them. Which adds to the thrill. <laughs> Let the best man win. He stabbed me. Mr. Fox, first you complain because I remove your belongings, and now you complain again when I return them? What? Cheer up. I simply gave back your rusty wire. Although, maybe I've been a little brusque. You can find it between your ribs. By the way, Mr. Fox, let's see if you can kill me before bleeding to death. Good luck. <laughs> Bastard. I ran out of uh...
Mr. Fox, leaving so soon. Okay. Actually, I let him shoot me. Mr. Fox, leaving so soon, and with... Yeah, I have the exact amount of rockets needed to kill that boss. Yeah, it's completely random stuff. Completely random stuff.
Gotta keep this together. Steal that. You managed to injure me. You've run out of first. Yeah, the real fight begins. Shoot. defeated what are you waiting for finish me time without paying for your crimes no way I'll take you to a trial so they condemn you and lock you in a cell to rot for the rest of your life I see hmm. tell me mr. Fox how are you going to take me if you can't move? Oh. What? You're so predictable. I knew you wouldn't kill me or let me die. Just like all of my other subordinates, mm -hmm. they consistently led you directly into my trap, Mr. Fox. Honestly, I hope you were going to surprise me again, like that little spark in the basement. But hmm. once more, the pen is mightier than the sword. What's By up, the my way, dick? thanks for volunteering to test my new paralyzer. The discharge it releases shuts down the whole peripheral nervous system. You should have killed me when you had the chance. See you never, Mr. Fox. It's because I didn't bring the colonel up with me. Because I didn't bring the colonel up. He wasn't there. Mr. Fox. Leaving so soon, and without a farewell. That's not very neighborly of you. And what's that on your shoulder? That's personal property, Mr. Fox. <laughs> Haven't your parents taught you never to steal? General X stood in my way, assuming it was really him and not another hologram. Are you asking yourself if I'm another hologram? Well... Okay. He did! He stole my porta potty. Do you have many? Oh. Oh. 
Oh, I shouldn't have moved there. Mr. Okay, I got this. So here comes the tricky part. Right. I gotta let this one heal up. Now I gotta let this one heal up. Take a hit here. Use up these hemetic kits. Okay. All right, one more to go. Aid kits. All the conditions are met. I have uh, underestimated you, Mr. Fox. Boss defeated. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if this was everything we needed. Come on. What are you waiting for? Finish me. Dying without paying for your crimes? No way. I'll take you to a trial so they condemn you and lock you in a cell to rot for the rest of your life. I see. Tell me, Mr. Fox, how are you going to take me if you can't move? Huh? What? <laughs> so I think that's hilarious. You're so predictable. I knew you wouldn't kill me or okay. let me die. Uh -huh. Just like all of my other subordinates. They consistently led you directly into my trap, Mr. Fox. Honestly, I hope you were going to surprise me again, like that little spark in the basement. But once more, the pen is mightier than the sword. Yeah, By the way, the thanks for volunteering to test my new paralyzer. The discharge it releases shuts down the whole peripheral nervous system. You should have killed me when you had the chance. See you never, Mr. Fox. Uh -huh. Yeah. Damn See right, Colonel. Never, General X. 
Are you all right, son? Uh, uh, uh. Don't worry. The effects on the paralysis will wear off soon. But it's not prudent to stay here. Come on, stand up, Fox. I'll help you walk. Thank you, Colonel. We're dragging their asses out of this shithole. Colonel Harris and I went to the helicopter. Mm -hmm. A few minutes later, when I regained my motor skills, we took off. Lieutenant, we have the forensic report of the carbonized corpse. Hand it to the sergeant. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Looks like we can finally prove that Mr. Fox has been lying. Sergeant, what does the report say? And the physiological study confirms that the corpse with identification C4423 measures three inches taller than Colonel Alan Harris, disproving his identity. What? Then he's not the Colonel. Of course not. I told you, Sergeant. Care to explain this, Mr. Fox? Are you going to tell us that he was tortured on a rack until it stretched him three inches? That would be ridiculous. He's not Colonel Harris. I never said he was. You what? You just told us that you both flew away in that helicopter. I told you we escaped together, but never said that corpse was Colonel Harris. In fact, I have no idea who it is. Are you sure you found it in the helicopter? Did you plan it yourselves to incriminate me? Like some dirty cops? How dare you! Enough games, Mr. Fox, enough! We'll find out who you are and then we'll execute you. What now? <laughs> what the hell is happening in here? Colonel in the room, salute! At ease. Colonel Harris? You, you're alive. Sir, we, we thought you passed away. As you can see, Lieutenant, I'm alive and kicking. Why is this man handcuffed? We were interrogating him. He's a spy that we captured, sir. A spy? Are you pulling my leg? He's a civilian who was in prison for a crime he didn't commit. <laughs> He's also the man that not only saved my life and freed me from the ex-army base, but also he found classified information about Operation Jericho. That will be essential in stopping the ex-army. For goodness sakes, that man's a fucking hero. Release him immediately. Y yes sir. Do you, you tell Colonel. them your heroic feet, Fox? <laughs> I was at when we entered the helicopter, Colonel. But it looks like they found a corpse in the helicopter. But fuck, I don't know who he is. They say he has a bullet in his head, and it came from my gun. But I haven't killed anyone. That corpse was General X. I killed him with your gun myself. Don't you remember? <laughs> Mm. See you never, General X. Later, while you were regaining your senses inside the helicopter, I retrieved General X's corpse and dragged it to the helicopter's aft. That bastard was heavy. In the <laughs> air. You know what happened. Hurry up, Fox. They're following us. Don't rush me, Colonel. I'm getting used to the controls. This piece of junk has levers and <laughs> buttons everywhere. But don't panic. I think we'll be able to reach Allied territory before they catch up. Then I'll call the cavalry. Charlie, Alpha, Charlie, Alpha, 54438, four, do you copy? Damn it, this radio isn't working. Fucking piece of shit. Don't worry, Colonel. As soon as we reach Allied territory, they'll stop pursuing us. Don't worry. Son, with no radio, when this fully armed piece of Soviet junk pings their radar, the first thing they're gonna do when we don't answer is take us down. Fuck. So we'll be shot at if we keep going, or we'll be shot at when we turn around? Affirmative. We're between a rock and a hard place. We'll abandon the helicopter as soon as we cross the border. I'm gonna search for the parachutes. But jumping would still be risky in this jungle terrain. Mm. You have them, Colonel? We're nearly there! There's only one, Fox. You jump and deliver the documents to the Allies. Are you insane, Colonel? They won't believe me. And you don't know how to pilot this junk. 
I'm dead to them anyway. You're young. You have your life ahead of you, son. Take this ring. Show it to them. They'll believe you. Fuck, it reeks of shit. <laughs> well, that's because those asshole bastards were going to snatch it as they put their hands on me. So I hit it. <laughs> the only safe place I had left. My ass. Come on, son, put on the parachute. Colonel, you need to jump and tell them everything yourself. We argued about who had to jump, but I had to admit that Mr. Fox had one convincing argument. Fox, what are you waiting for? Hurry up, son. We are running out of time. For heaven's sake, put on the parachute. It wasn't wise to use weapons there. <laughs> the next thing I remember was waking up, hanging from the parachute tangled to a tree. The owner of a farm who spotted me arrived a few minutes later. After tending to my wounds and offering me food, he was so kind as to bring me here to the base. The lieutenant and the sergeant were shocked and immediately apologized. A few days later, the army decorated me with two medals. Jesse Fox, for rescuing mm -hmm. an MIA military colonel and recovering <laughs> intelligence on Operation Cherokee. But everyone in the background is just I, sane. The only way I can tell him apart is because the other guy with the hat on. He's the asshole who wants to shoot me. <laughs> He's also the Michael asshole that knows what the colonel's asshole smells like. <laughs> <laughs> that medal really exists? It didn't. They had to invent it, as they had nothing that they could provide for a civilian. You're also awarded the Gandhi Medal of the National <laughs> Idiot. National Idiot? Well, I received it because I didn't kill any enemies at all during the escape. As you know, militaries don't get why killing is wrong. <laughs> well, at least we agree on that. So, thanks to the documents I found, the Allies could find and sink every related submarine. The military base, docks, and Omega building were the target of a large operation. Everyone was arrested. Robert, the paparazzi, Ooh, published the story and won a Pulitzer Prize. Sweet. Good on you, Robert. The two doctors and their two fathers dedicated themselves to finding a cure for cancer using nanonuclear weapons. Wait, wasn't it one doctor? That's what they wanted us <laughs> to believe. The captain of that boat? Retired with my 50 million dollars. Of course. But he died of gonorrhea the week after. Fucking hell. Seriously? Nah, but he would have deserved it. <laughs> Do you remember Private Mike? The one I found hammered and whose leave I obtained? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he could finally visit his daughter for her birthday. Brilliant. Hello? <laughs> He took a he dragged and himself I into a stupor about where back from. to my old life as a smuggler. Wait, what? The end. Wow. Jesse, that's the most incredible story ever told. My god, you have an amazing imagination. You should be a video game writer. You don't believe me. Not a word. <laughs> Thank you very much, Miss Incredulous. Hey, who are those guys? Must be an improvised patrol. Don't say a word if they don't ask you anything. Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good okay. morning. Here you are. Very well. Let's see. Fuck. You're Jesse Fox. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's me. Holy Jesus. I can't believe it. Hey, Jimmy. Who is that guy? Fuck, Mike, he's Fox! The one who rescued Colonel Alan Harris <laughs> and prevented the nuclear attacks. I really admire you, Mr. Fox. You're a fucking hero. Thanks, soldier. Here are your passports. <laughs> and no, said hero is a smuggler. <laughs> Stop the car. What 
What's up? Then it's true. It's all true. Mm -hmm. Now do you believe me? Kiss me. <laughs> what? Kiss me now. <laughs> to be fair, I would too. That was a fun game. That was honestly gone. Fun. 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 <laughs> well, I know, Rusty, thank you for telling me about this. I fucking love this game. <laughs> uh, it's so silly and so stupid, but it works so fucking well. Not even a little, it's just that damn good, you know? I like General Harris. He didn't do much, but he was a he was he was fun to talk to at the beginning and then he was awesome at the end. Pulled our ass out with the second, third, and fifth fire, I guess. Don't know how many fires we were into. Just that was just mess after mess after mess after mess. Just kept going and going and going and going and going. And I love the fact that it was told from the perspective of someone telling a story twice over. Hey, Jimmy. Hello. Who the fuck is this Colonel Alan Harris? I don't know. Yesterday I met that guy in a bar. He was nice. Hmm. I told him that I was going to slog as a guard here today. And he said if I pretended he rescued the Colonel and prevented nuclear attacks when he drove by, that he'd give me a hundred bucks. <laughs> hundred bucks for saying four sentences. Can you believe it? Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good morning. Here you are. <laughs> it's been the easiest 100 bucks ever. Fuck. People make up stupid shit just to score. Yeah, dude. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh dear God, that was fun. That was interesting. Okay. Thoughts on that game. The yellow submarine mission was a nuisance. I loved it. It was a nuisance. It was brilliant. <laughs> but uh, the ghost mission, a nuisance. Because I think the map was lying to me at the halfway point. Then, what was this? What was this? The map was lying me there. <laughs> the forest mission was funny. A bit of a nuisance. <laughs> a lot of it is actually a nuisance, but it was so it's so good. It made up for us. <laughs> but I think the nuisance aspect of it really added to the comedy. But I love Jesse Fox. I think he's an asshole and I think he's crazy. I love the fucking Colonel. Don't let me know he may not have even existed. <laughs> the entire thing was just to get laid. <laughs> But, but, oh god. The stealth system was great, and the fact that I could choose my own scenarios here and there. Like, the fact that I could choose what type of enemies was in a room, or choose what type of items were in the crate in a room. Or I can choose what type of problem there was with the, 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 the speedboats. And then you had the, uh, the what were they called? The, 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 the submarine. A submarine. That submarine. It was. Mm. But I got it. 
I got us. Took a while, but I got us. Anyway. Again, Rusty Knight, thank you so much. And I'm going to call that for a day. I probably won't do a second stream because I'm expecting to go visit my parents today. So, life goes on. So, good luck, goodbye, have fun, all the good stuff, and 